Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic with Oxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna to look at Indigo from Omni Ved and the Beautiful Mind. What is Indigo? Basically, it's a mentalism effect. It's a four spectator card reveal effect. So you have four spectators and they are allowed to pick four different cards and they can actually change their minds, switch their cards back and forth amongst themselves before you make your revelation. You wanna see the promo? This is it. So that was Omnived and Beautiful Mind. And just a couple of questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, the first of which is, what is in the box? What's in the box? Uh, what's in the box? Not much. Uh, you're gonna get a tiny little cardboard box, and that's it. So this little cardboard box that I'm holding in my hand, this is the only thing you're getting. Uh, and basically, what's inside of it is a bunch of paper gimmicks uh, that are pre-printed some, and others are just like little pieces of foam board. Uh, and you're getting a download code. So you're not getting a video, and you're not getting a completed gaff. For $30, you have to build your own gaff and muddle your way through the download video. Is it what I thought? No, it is not what I thought. There's not what I thought for a lot of reasons. Uh, first of which is, they make the trailer out to be like this really cool thing, and then when you get the product, it's this little tiny box, and you're kind of wondering, okay, what, what do I have to do? And then when you see that you have to assemble your own gimmick uh, and muddle your way through the download video to figure out how to use the gimmick, you, you just become so overwhelmed with the work that they're expecting you to do that you kind of just give up halfway through and you think, I, I don't even have the patience. I don't even have the time to do this. Uh, I mean, the trailer is neat. It's fun to watch the, the 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 live performance, but then after that, you're kind of left with uh, you're kind of left with a school project that you have to complete, <laughs> and it, it, it feels like a bit much. Uh, hey, how are the angles on this? The angles are fine. Uh, I really wasn't worried about the angles so much. The gimmick talks, though. Uh, it might talk more depending on how you make it, because remember, you have to build the gimmick yourself. Uh, there's some movement action to it, and the movement action actually can speak a little bit, and not that, just that, but there's just an angle issue uh, that you have when you're lifting the gimmick and moving it around. You have to be sensitive to people behind you, uh, or just, just your angles in general. Uh, so you have some angle issues, you have some talking issues, uh, so that's just kind of like uh, what I would say about any angles. Can the gimmick be inspected? No, it is a working, moving gimmick, and so you can't hand it out. Uh, they definitely teach you a switch uh, on the video, and, and so you could switch it and you could ring in uh, a gaff that they could feel and hold for certain, but uh, while the gimmick is in play, you have to make sure that nobody grabs it. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value? Uh, here, this is where it really is lacking. Uh, let me just say that the video itself is two hours long. Okay, two hours long. One hour is gimmick assembly. So if it takes one hour for them to assemble the gimmick on the video, it's probably gonna take you longer because you're gonna have to pause, grab materials, glue, wait for things to dry, etc. The performance video is also an hour. So, and the effect isn't that long. You're right, the effect isn't really that long. I could probably explain to you what you would have to do to do this trick in 10 minutes. They took an hour. And, and granted, they're trying to cover every base, and I, I give them credit for that, but when you don't have a DVD menu where you can easily navigate between setup, 
presentation, tips and advice, handling, and you have to muddle through an hour long video, it makes it extremely difficult to watch, navigate, and learn. In addition to that, there is also a language barrier. They are speaking in English, but it is very hard to understand. Very difficult to muddle your way through the, the video, uh, both with trying to listen audibly as a learner and visually as a learner. Yeah, I felt the video extremely difficult to navigate, didn't want to complete it, didn't want to watch it. It was boring me and it was just frustrating me. So not well taught, not good quality or production value at all. Is it well made? Like I said, you make it. And I, and I take issue here, I really do. And we'll get into that when I talk about is it worth your money? When you pay $30 for a magic trick, you expect to receive something, right? But when you have to not only download the two hour video yourself, I hope you have good bandwidth, <laughs> and you have to assemble the gimmick yourself, you're really almost getting nothing. You know, you're, you're getting the parts to put it together, sure. I mean, that's nice, and you're getting the video, but give me one or the other. For my money, give me an assembled gimmick, or give me a DVD that I can navigate. Give me something, help me out a little bit as the consumer. And I just don't feel like they did that for you. How much practice does it require? Not much. I think anybody who's already familiar with uh, card tricks, especially already familiar with forcing, uh, you're gonna have to be able to force four cards, okay? So it's not a free selection, you're gonna have to be able to force four cards. Uh, but I think anybody who's already kind of familiar with working a table is going to be able to pick up Indigo pretty quickly. All right, so what are the positives? Positives to this. Uh, the positives for this are is that this trick allows you to make a pre-prediction with no switches, okay? And after the cards are on the table, the spectators can swap cards and you are still able to determine which person has which card. That in itself is a really cool effect. That's a cool gimmick, okay? That is a cool trick. Unfortunately, it just takes you a long time to get there with the product that they give you. Negatives, uh, aside from all the negatives that I've been saying this entire video, essentially, you still have to know how to force four cards, right? And so any card magician that already knows how to force four cards could easily do a four card prediction. The only thing they wouldn't know how to do is allow the spectators to switch the cards at the end. So that's really the part that Indigo does for you. It allows the spectators to swap their cards and you still can name each person. So you give them names, you say this person is spectator A and they're gonna have the four of clubs. The spectator B is gonna have the six of diamonds, okay? So you guess what I'm saying? So that part, that's the cool part. But like I said, any magician who's worth their salt who knows their way around the deck of cards, they know how to force four cards to four people. So the negatives are there's really only one kicker and to pay $30 for that kicker and you have to assemble the gimmick yourself just seems like a lot. Is it worth your money? No. That's all I have to say about that. All right, so who would like this? Mentalists, people who are into mentalism and people who do table hopping. I think this trick works itself best, right? When you have three spectators and Going table hopping, uh, you're gonna find those tables that have three people sitting up there. So I think people that do table hopping, venue events, uh, places where you're hired out, I think would uh, like Indigo. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so that's my review for Indigo from Omnived and Beautiful Mind. And if you'd like to purchase your own, even after I gave this really terrible review, uh, you can find it at one of your favorite Murphy's Magic suppliers. Thanks, bye.